Since Master Roshi was eliminated in the Tournament of Power in Dragon Ball Super Episode 107, this completely throws the Universe 7 Ending 9 Elimination Order theory out the window. If you don't know, the original theory is as follows. So in Dragon Ball Super Ending 9, towards the final uh, shots of the um, ending, pretty much, Basically, there is a panning shot from left to right, and it shows each of the Team Universe 7 members that are participating in the Tournament of Power, and the order is as follows. Krillin, Ten Shinhan, Vegeta, and so on and so forth. So, once uh, Krillin was eliminated from the actual Tournament of Power in Dragon Ball Super, people have been theorizing that, oh, Ten Shinhan is next. Vegeta is next, and so on and so forth. Basically, the ending 9 shot of basically the Universe 7 members and it's a panning shot correlates to the elimination order in the actual Tournament of Power until uh, Master Roshi was eliminated instead of Vegeta, making the whole theory false. I think this is a massive misdirect by Toei Animation, and I think it's quite cleverly done if you really think that they intentionally done this, as I think so, so I'm kind of creating a theory about the Ending 9 theory in a sense. But anyway, um, I think Toei Animation just done this just to screw with people's heads, and Dragon Ball has always been a series where it kind of just does the opposite of expectations and predictions, basically. I mean, there's kind of obvious spots in Dragon Ball, like Goku Black being Zamasu, like everyone expected that, but there's some genuinely shocking moments. Like Frost, for instance, he was a good freezer, everyone was going to think he was staying good, but then uh, Tawei and Toriyama were like, nope, he's just a clone of Frieza, which I don't mind. So they kind of just played with our expectations there. And the reason why the whole Frost and Freezer thing works, and it's a misdirect, and it's pretty much a good twist, and it's a surprising twist, is because Shampa and Beerus, their brothers, uh, Shampa is fat, Beerus is the direct opposite, he's skinny as shit, pretty much, so, yeah. That's why, oh, Freezer's evil, so Frost must be good, right? No. So, they kinda... Um, sort of foreshadowed that, and I think it was a good payoff, a good surprise. But yeah, I didn't really believe the theory at first, I think it was kind of just a coincidence, but then I really thought about it, and in episode 107, what really caught my eye is that Vegeta had a lot to do with that episode in tandem with Master Roshi. Um, well, at least in the second half, at least, Vegeta got involved, and then that's where people think, okay, Vegeta's going to get eliminated, but then it was Master Roshi, um, so that was very clever on Tawei's part, and I think they just done it to screw with people's minds, as people like to theorize and discuss about, like, the endings, you know, um, and, like, just sort of theorize based off of an ending, which you shouldn't really do. I mean, it can give hints, you know, the opening and endings can give hints, but it's it'll never give, like, a major plot point away. At least I don't think so, and, like, Toei, if they wanted to give a, um, a plot detail away, they would do it in a magazine first, um, before they would put it in an opening, you know? So, yeah. Great misdirect. Intentional or not, it really got people sort of, um, talking. Um, and this theory, it's, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous if you really think about it. Like, why would, it, why would an ending just spoil the whole entire arc, essentially? If this arc strictly is the Tournament of Power without, you know, another subplot, um, after. But, yeah, you, you know what I mean. Like, why would they just spoil, like, a big chunk of the arc? Um, you know, there's got to be some sort of misdirect, and there was, because Master Roshi was eliminated, and Vegeta is just fine, and it also doesn't make sense because, yeah, like, Vegeta is, like, one of the strongest players, so why would they just eliminate him early on, I guess, to add tension, but still, they wouldn't spoil it in the ending, and I think Toei, um, was just very clever, again, intentional or not, I have no idea, but still very clever. I think this 
um, misdirect is actually more clever than the theory itself, to be honest. I just thought it was brilliant. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. That's pretty much it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.